What's up, bitches? Hey, YouTube. Hello again. I'm back. Hi. I still don't have one. Anyway, I thought that it was time to film my wish list for the lucky bag from Beautylish. So the lucky bag from Beautylish. I've ordered mine, very excited about it. Have you ordered one? If you did, comment down below and let me know what you're hoping for because I would like to tell everybody before I do the unboxing, because I'm doing a live unboxing. I'm not peeking before I do the video, which I usually do if I do an unboxing. <clears throat> I'm just gonna unbox it and be surprised and share that with the internet. So, number one thing on my wish list for the Lucky Bag is a Wayne Goss brush. I want one so badly. I lost almost all of my brushes in the flood. Not that I had that many to begin with, but I've gradually been trying to replace the brushes and upgrade and get actually good brushes as opposed to the crap that I was using before. Honestly, I wasn't really even using makeup brushes that much before. I was mostly just using my fingers to blend my foundation and to put on blush and even to put on eyeshadow. And if I do contour, which I rarely, rarely do, but I know how, I just choose not to. I was using the fingers and it works. I, I don't think I looked like a hot mess. I mean, I, I think it was okay, maybe it wasn't. But I've been using brushes and I've been really liking them. Plus, I love Wayne Goss. Don't you love Wayne Goss? If you've never seen his videos, go watch his channel because if I'm having a bad day, if I'm feeling bad about myself, I watch one of his videos and I feel better about the world. I feel more optimistic about my life and I, I don't know, he's just, he exudes this positive energy and this acceptance and just, go watch him. He's fantastic. And I've heard nothing but rave reviews of those brushes. So I really want one. Number two, Natasha Denona eyeshadow. Now I have the Lila palette. I really love it. I don't love it as much as I expected it to because that was a high ticket item that I bought it like at midnight when it launched, I teed up, ready to go in my cart on the Sephora website, ordered it, got it, loved it. Um, it's not quite as vibrant as I was hoping it would be. Even the pink shades and the one violet shade is really more blue and it doesn't really work on my eyes. But it's a gorgeous palette and the quality is amazing. Those shadows basically blend themselves. And I'm not talking about muddying. I'm talking about legitimately blending. Like you have to do next to nothing to get a really, really gorgeous look out of that palette. So I would like more eyeshadows from Natasha Denona, particularly. I would like the Joya palette. That one is beautiful. I don't have a really good yellow and that yellow gold I think would be beautiful and it's got pink shades and oh, I would love to have it. I had it on my Christmas list. I didn't get it. No complaints. That's kind of ridiculous. Um, and I almost bought it several times in the store and I just never pulled the trigger. So now I, I want it. I want it. And if I don't get it in the bag, I might still buy it. Same with the Wayne Goss brush. In fact, I think I may buy a set. I think I would use that and I think I would love it. Uh, the other thing, the other um, Natasha Denona palette that I would really like, I think it's number 10. It has the purple shades. And I think I would use that a lot. I'm really hoping not to get a boring ass neutral eyeshadow palette because basic white bitch beige does not work on me. Diarrhea brown, matte diarrhea as I call it does not work on me. Shimmer Diarrhea, I, I'm not about that shade. I, I'm just not about those shades at all. I really hope I don't get a neutral eyeshadow palette. Uh, not that you're, not, oh gosh. I remember, you have to be careful, right? Okay, if you wear neutral shadows, I'm sure they look beautiful on you. They look like shit on me. I don't wear them, and I don't wear them for a good reason. One of these days, I'll do a neutral look. You know, if I get a lame ass neutral palette, in my lucky bag. I will do a neutral look on my face and I will show you how silly it looks. Like with this crazy hair and with the way I dress and with my personality, I look sick if I wear neutral makeup. I would rather just not wear makeup. Really, I hate it a lot for me, on me, personal preference. Okay, number three, and I know that this tends to come in the lucky bag because I've been watching a lot of unboxing videos from past years, and it's the Bioderma, I'll 
put the name over here because I can't remember the exact name, but I know it's a micellar water and I want that. I, I've thought about buying it before and I love using micellar water. When it when I first discovered it, I was going, what the fuck is this? I, I have no idea what it's for. I've since figured it out. It's a great makeup remover. It's never done anything insidious to my skin. I've never broken out. I've never gotten any kind of redness or irritation. So I'm all about that and I would be very happy to get that. And I'm pretty sure I'm guaranteed to get it, so yay. Number four, and this is a product that I have and love, so I know I would love it if I, even if I got the same exact color. I would really love to get a Stila Glitter and Glow eyeshadow. I have the one in Diamond Dust. I had the one in Sunset Cove. I used that up. Um, any, any color, I would be so happy with it. I love that product. That is probably next to my eyeliners that are my babies. I think that the Stila Glitter and Glow eyeshadow is my favorite makeup product that I own. Love it. I'd really like to get one. I would really like to get the color Gypsy, but any color, seriously. Yeah, any color. Number five, and this is another product that I already have, um, but I would like more. I would love to get a Jeffree Star liquid lipstick, um, the Velour liquid lipsticks. I have one in Calabasas, which is kind of, which is neutral for me. It applies like a dream. I love the formula. I don't really love liquid lipsticks in general as a rule, but those are amazing. I also have Rich Blood, which is gorgeous. And you know what? I don't want to hear about the drama. I don't want to hear about which other makeup guru Jeffree Star is in a little tiff with. I don't care. Until Jeffree Star shows up at my house at two o'clock in the morning and calls me a bitch and trashes my house, I will continue to buy his makeup because it's bomb. Did I pull that off? It's really good. It's beautiful. It suits my personality. It suits my skin tone. It suits my skin type. I've never had a bad reaction to it. Love it. And I would really, really appreciate getting I'm Shook because I've been drawn to that color from the beginning. So, <laughs> number six, I would love to get a Charlotte Tilbury lip cheat. And the reason being is because I've been loving Charlotte Tilbury lately. I and late to the party, but I've been using her, let me see if I can get this out without tripping all over my words. The Flawless Finish Airbrush Powder, is that right? This stuff? I love that stuff. It's amazing. It's amazing. I use it every day. I've been using her concealer. I can't remember the name of it, but I think it's very similar to YSL's Touche Clot which I would also like to try, but the Charlotte Tilbury works really, really well. It's beautiful. Um, and I've been, I had a sample of a foundation. I can't remember if it's the Magic Foundation or the Wonder Glow. Is that what they're called? I don't, I don't know. Anyway, I got a sample of it. I got three uses out of it. It looked fabulous and I would consider buying a full size once I get a little bit lower on the foundation that I'm currently using. But I've never, ever in my life owned a lip pencil that was worth a fuck. Seriously. They're the ones that I have, they're not bad, but they get kind of dry and they don't go on very smoothly. And I've heard really good things about this particular lip pencil. So I'd like to try it. Send it to me. Oh, in kiss and tell. That's the only color that I will accept. I'm a little picky. Number eight, I would like a pair of false lashes. I love my false lashes. Even on no makeup days, I'm gonna be wearing false lashes because my natural eyelashes suck. So, lashes, like any, anything, just false lashes. Send me some gorgeous Inglot or the Velour lashes. Oh my gosh, yeah, false lashes. And number eight, I would love some kind of smoothing hair product. Do not send me some kind of volumizing bullshit. Do not send me some kind of texturizing beach wave bullshit. This is no product. Yeah, this is my hair with no product and it's unruly. So I don't need to pump up the volume. I need to tone down the volume. I need to make it sleek. I need to make it not frizzy. So don't send me any of those bullshit texturizing, volumizing things. Send me something smoothing. That would be fantastic. And that's all I have. Could I think of anything else? I, I should have tried to make this an even 10, but you know what? No, 
I know I'm just gonna go with eight because those are the things that I really 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 want and I'm going to repeat this before I do my unboxing very quickly am I capable of being succinct no. I'll try so I wanted to just put that out there a couple of weeks before I actually get the box and I wanted to talk to you guys if anybody's watching tell me what you're hoping for and this is kind of like a second Christmas. Are you excited? I'm super excited. I'm such a dork about makeup, but it brings me so much joy. Makeup and anything beauty related, even though I'm not that good at it. I'm like one of those kids that auditions for American Idol who thinks that they can sing pretty well, but really kind of can't sing all that well. That doesn't mean that they don't love music. And that's the wonderful thing about YouTube is that if you expect perfection from someone who is clearly an amateur, who's someone, someone who is just wanting to come on here and talk about something that brings them joy, a joy that you probably share or you wouldn't be watching videos like this, I think it's amazing and I don't feel pressure to be perfect. I'm into doing things that make me happy and sometimes it takes a while to get good at something. YouTube videos. Speaking of which, see, I'm learning. Okay, I don't think I've done this. I've been really careful not to. I pinned my hair back a little bit. Now, I look stupid like this. It just, no. I don't like the way I look with my hair completely out of my face. But I noticed when I was editing yesterday that I did this about 30 times. And so I either came off as really nervous because we unconsciously preen when we're nervous. We also unconsciously preen when we are flirting. So I promise, I, I love you guys if you're watching me. I And I'm touching it now because I messed it up. I love you if you're watching me. I'm not flirting with you. I was just trying to get my hair out of my face. My bangs are in that awkward phase where they're not long enough to do a proper side sweep, but they're not short enough to wear down because no. <laughs> anyway, so the psychologist in me came out a little bit. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. I'm actually a marriage and family therapist in training. I'm not fully licensed yet and a sex therapist, again, in training. But for years, I did psychological research specifically on um, romantic relationships and sexual relationships. So that is my area of expertise and it's my passion. Makeup is a love, it's not a passion, it brings me a lot of joy, but relationships, sex, not for me, I mean I have a normal sensibility about that under the right circumstances, but I, from a scientific perspective and from a clinical perspective, that is my passion. So if you ever want to talk about sex or talk about relationships, talk about that. I would love to interact with you on that level as well. Anyway, now that I've gone completely off topic, my goal is to upload either every other day or every day until I go back to school and then I'm going to try to get on some kind of like twice a week, three times a week schedule. But in the meantime, while I'm learning, while I don't have any obligations for the next two or three weeks, I'm going to try to get better at this. And notice I, I, I really don't think I did this very much. so. I'm learning and I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.